Okay, what we're going to do today is to show how we modify um, a window, let's say a sales order, let's call up a sales order, and uh, to make this sales order, for example, into a master detail format, as you can see here, it's, it's not a master detail format, you have to go through another tab to see the order line, which is here. A master detail format will mean that this order line will appear somewhere below. And at the same time, we also want to use the application dictionary to, to remove um, unwanted fields. You can see that there's a lot of clutter, a lot of fields here. So um, let's start moving by logging in your system. Log into another window, which is your system admin. This effectively gets you into the application dictionary. And uh, we're going to recall up the um, window tab field. The window tab field, um, I've called up the sales order. And you can see the three tabs that uh, control the sales order. Let me call up the sales order again so that you understand how they are related. You can see these three tabs here. And they are defined by these three rows of information under this tab called tab. Now, the trick is under the order tab, under this order tab, we have to create a new field that will embed the detail window. So, let's get to the bottom and create a new field, call it detail and you see include the tab field here this is where you'll find your three tabs to select from and you select order line and you have to yeah type in l and you get link order link order has already been defined on the table and column if you don't have a link order field you have to create it a link order field let me look it up A link order field basically has a reference that's table as reference and you will have a parent ID as its reference key and that's effectively a link order field so that there's a detail to master relationship and once you have that save it and uh, let's call up a sales order again by doing a cache reset a cache reset will make the changes, uh, bring the changes into the present context of the window. Mm, taking longer than usual. Let's go back to our sales order. And you'll see that the master detail effect is there. Master detail effects there, but there's something about the master detail effect that is not really desirable. That is, is in a single order instead of multi-row as a proper master detail should be. So we go to window tab field, go to the second tab, the order line, remove the single row layout, and at the same time too, we want to remove. All the extra fields that are unwanted. Okay, let's remove things like description. Mm, I want to remove. It's not necessary. The promise. You know, I want to make it a point of sale kind of um, um, uh, master. So, like, uh, use contact um, or invoice location. Remove. On the location, invoice partner, oh, the delivery rule, priority, mm, currency, mm, 
Alright, I think that's enough. So let's get back to the cache. Do a cache reset again. We should have a more nicer master detail that's not cluttered and in multi row detail format. Let me close this sys or and call it up again. Oops. Let me do a cache again. Taking some time here. Okay, now this should do it. Yeah, let me just fresh again. You can see there's less detail. Reference is gone. You can tweak it further. And you can see there's a master detail format. Let me call up a record so that you get the point is not it? Okay. There you are. Well, if you have more records, it will come up nicer. So, that's all. Hope you learn all those that uh, has been taught here. Thank you.